Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a full testing video on Face Stockholm. And if you saw my video when I did a video for HQ Hair, I tried one of the Face Stockholm eyeliners and I was amazed. If you follow my Instagram and you saw any pictures with me wearing a winged eyeliner or close-ups of winged eyeliner, then it is the Face Stockholm one. It is un believable so when the brand said to me that I could pick anything from their website to try for a full face tutorial I was like yes please and I went a little bit crazy I could easily create loads of looks using all these products but today I'm going to be going for a green glittery kind of colour I'm going to be using this glitter here we've got some green eyeshadows as well but we have a full face to get through so let's get started if you enjoy videos like this then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe as well i upload wednesdays fridays and sundays so let's get into the video so because i'm going to be going in with glitter i'm going to try and do quite an intense look i'm going to begin with just taking some of their fresh face foundation this has aloe vera and vitamin e in it but the first ingredient is water so it's a water-based foundation and it's in the shade Frashk, I think I tell you to say it. But I'm going to take some of this to prime my eyelids. Ooh, it's got a spatula. That is so much easier. And then taking some of their powder foundation. This is in the shade Late August. It just looks like this. I'm going to be using this to set the foundation on my eyelids. So the first shade I'm going to take is their matte eyeshadow. The all matte eyeshadows one that I picked. And this is in the shade Sol Ross, I think that's how you say it. And so we're taking a big, oh that's pigmented, a big fluffy brush and putting this in the crease. Ooh, that is so pigmented. And then taking the shade Fun, I'm really excited to be trying like a proper yellow out. And I'm taking it on a smaller fluffier brush. I'm going to put this just a little bit further down. I'm just kind of winging this and seeing how it goes. <laughs> that orangey peachy colour had quite a lot of yellow in it as well, so this goes really, really well together. And then I'm going to take in the same brush and the shade Creativity, and I'm going to be putting that even further into the crease. These are so pigmented, by the way. This blue one needs a little bit more on your brush compared to the others, but that's just because it is such a light... Oops, excuse my phone. <laughs> such a light colour. And then taking an even darker colour, I'm going to be using the shade Foolish and a smaller brush. And I'm just going to darken this up, but I'm going to apply it all over the lid as well. Make a little base for me to put the glitter on. And then taking their black matte shadow and an even smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to pack this onto the outer V. And then I'm just going to use a fluffy brush, a bigger one, to blend that in and I'm just going to keep reapplying until I get the intensity that I want. So for the glitter, ignore by the way all this, we can fix and clean all that up afterwards, but for the glitter I'm going to be using the Galaxy Tijuot, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's this colour here, oh my god how stunning is this, and I'm going to put a little bit of duo eyelash glue onto my lid for the glitter to stick to. I'm just applying this with a brush just to make it a little bit more precise. And then using another brush, stick this bad boy on. It is going to be a messy one just because obviously it is a loose glitter. So I'm just taking a makeup wipe just to clean up the glitter that's fell down. And I'm going to take it to like swipe to get a straight line. And the eyeshadow as well. This glitter is absolutely stunning it just kind of goes everywhere a little bit <laughs> but I don't mind it because like look how beautiful that is considering it's loose glitter it wasn't actually that bad to apply and it picks up really really well with a wet makeup wipe as well I'm really impressed by that I also have a purple one of them as well so I can't wait to do another look I've got the other one in the shade Femtum which looks absolutely ridiculous it looks so good i mean look at that yes so i'm taking the same brush again and taking the black to intensify and blend in that glitter and just to make the black a little bit darker now that we've got our full glam glitter on and like i said don't worry you can just go through it again and 
sharpen up with your makeup wipe. That's why it's so good to do your eye makeup when you're doing it dramatic, to do it before you do your foundation. So I'm just taking that black and running it underneath my eyes as well. I'm going to dip into the orange with the same brush to like blend that in. I really wanted to do winged eyeliner with this look but I'm kind of enjoying how it's looking without and I don't know if I want to distract from the glitter I'm just I'm just feeling the glitter so much <laughs> to prep my skin I'm going to be going in with the face Stockholm wake up facial spray that smells really minty oh ginger and seaweed that smells really minty <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with the foundation. So like I said before, it's a fresh face foundation. I'm going to do one side first so we can see the difference. So just taking a flat top brush, I'm just going to blend this in. I'm not expecting like a lot of coverage by like the name of the foundation. This colour is a really good colour for me. It's very sticky foundation, not like sticky, like it's a tacky one. So you definitely would have to set this with powder. But I think that might be because it's dewy, with it being like a fresh face one. Because that's the kind of coverage that I'd like on the daily, where it just kind of evens your skin out a little bit, just makes you look a bit more awake, and like it says, fresh faced. I'm going to try the other half with my Beauty Blender. And I don't know how it's going to go, because obviously it's a water foundation. So I'm assuming I'll probably have to use more with a Beauty Blender. We shall see. Yeah, it's nowhere near as much coverage. I think it's definitely one that you'd have to use a brush for because that's really soaked up a lot of the foundation and obviously you don't want to be wasting it I'm going to see how it lays up you now for instance if you wanted to build up the coverage so I don't think the foundation builds up very well I think it is just for one of them ones where you just want a fresh face but I'm going to try and set it with the powder foundation in the shade late August that I used to set my eyes with and I'm just going to use this to set all over the face Wow, I am really impressed with that foundation powder. That has just made everything so smooth. It's not like sticky anymore. It's given me some more coverage on my nose where the foundation wasn't really sticking the best. Wow. My skin looks so smooth. Like, I, I'm honestly so impressed by that foundation powder. It takes a lot for me to be impressed by foundation powders. There's only really like two that I've liked so far of every single one that I've tried. Maybe three. But the one that I love the most is the Benefits Hello Flawless Powder. And that is just unbelievable. That first Stockholm one. So we're going to go in with bronzer next. We have the Cancun bronzer. Which looks like this. And I wish that I got a different shade now. Because when it came... I don't really think it's a bronzer that I can kind of use to bronze up my face. I probably use it as like a dark blusher. But I'm going to try with a brush and see whether it can be used as a bronzer. We shall see. Let's give it a go. Oh, that colour. Oh, that's alright. I'm really impressed. I thought it was going to be like a really horrible colour. But that's actually really pretty. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot. It is a little bit red toned as well, so it's really good to make you look nice and tanned, but just obviously don't apply too much. <laughs> oh, I actually really like that. So I'm kind of using it as a bronzer and a blusher as well, because the colour is just that stunning. And I don't want like too much colour obviously on my cheeks and stuff, because I've got like a glittery lid on. So next we have two highlighters to try. We have the shade Mystic. I love the packaging of these. I love the yellow boxes that they come in as well, which looks like this. I have swatched these on my Instagram and my Snapchat. And the other one is in the shade Dignity, which looks like this. So these are the two next to each other. So Dignity is more golden and Mystic is more like a pearly colour. So I'm going to go in with the more golden one because you know I like my gold. I'm going to try my normal highlighting brush which is the Morphe M501 and then I'm just going to tap it in with my fingers just because it is kind of like a creamy consistency and obviously we are putting it on top of a powder as well. So this will be the true test. <laughs> So I'm applying it with a brush like this and then blending it with my fingertips. 
Okay, so for lips, we have two matte lipsticks and we also have a lip gloss. So let's open these bad boys up. We have the matte lipstick in Sahara, which looks absolutely stunning. And then we have the matte lipstick in Fashion, which looks like this. And I think I'm going to go for the Sahara one today, just so we have like a nude lip, just with our eyes being so dramatic. That's such like a soft matte finish. I am going to be putting the lip gloss over the top because this is just so pretty. I want to try it. This is in the shade 81 and look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, that looks so pretty with the lip gloss just in the center as well. So I just need to put on some mascara and some lashes and then we'll be done. So I don't have any concealer or mascara from Fit Stockholm, so I've just applied my own. And for lashes, I'm going to be trying these out. And these are the Dirty Doll Luxury Mink Collection eyelashes. And I thought these would be perfect because they start off a little bit lighter and then fluff it out towards the outer edge. So I thought it would look really nice to show off the glitter, but then go really nice and dark and sultry for the black in the corner. So I'm going to apply these. I absolutely love the packaging of these and I can't wait to try them out. So as you can see it starts off light and then goes fluffier on the outer edge. Oh my god these lashes are unbelievable. They're so big but they don't feel heavy at all. I don't get how they managed to do that where it just feels so lightweight still. They are perfect for one as well because they really show off the shimmer on my eyelid but really make my eyes look big and if you know me that's one of the things that I don't like about myself is how little my eyes look and sometimes when I put false eyelashes on it makes them look even smaller but these just somehow like open my eyes up and really show off that glitter I am really impressed I really want to try some like more dramatic ones like these but a bit more maybe like thicker a bit more fluffier really, really want to try out some more of theirs because that that is wow i'm so impressed by them lashes i'll leave the link down below to their website and their instagram as well obviously i'll leave all the face dot com stuff down below too but i'll make sure that i leave that down below and i'll make sure that i will leave the ones that i've got on as well i'll try and find out which one it was that i got so yeah very very impressed so that is the finished look. I'm going to do a quick little roundup. I'm going to tell you the things that really stand out for me. Things that I would really recommend you picking up from this brand. I do have a scrub to try as well, but I haven't tried this out yet. I will probably be doing another video where I'll use the like purple glitter. So the things that really impressed me, I absolutely loved that first powder. That was unbelievable, the powder foundation, which looks like this. I was really, really impressed by the bronzer, which I'm quite surprised about because when I first opened it, I thought, ooh, how am I going to get away with that? But I was very, very impressed by that too. I think the highlight is absolutely stunning. You just need to make sure that you haven't powdered your face yet because it just doesn't blend in as seamless into the skin as what it probably would if I hadn't already powdered. But that is my mistake for doing that. I love the smell of the spray. The lipstick is unbelievable. The lip gloss was probably the one thing that I was really excited for. Um, and didn't wow me as much as what I thought it was going to but it was still a really good lip gloss nonetheless um, the eyeliner obviously as you know I absolutely love their eyeliner their precision tip eyeliner um, but obviously it, I just didn't think it would have went with this look today so we skipped on the eyeliner today all of the eyeshadows that I tried were really really good the black that will be in my makeup bag permanently because that black is un believable. I really really liked the orangey colour and the yellow and I really really liked the dark colour of the green as well. Obviously we still have like a pinky purpley kind of colour. This is a surprise and then we also have aubergine which is like a kind of like a red purpley toned brown kind of colour and the thing that has probably wowed me I'd say the most out of everything Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably the most out of everything. Everything else is just that face powder and that bronzer though. Oh. But yeah, the glitter, unbelievable. I need all of these, please. All these shades. Thank you very much. Ah, Honestly, I am so amazed. If I can manage to get my hands on all of the shades of this, I will do a full video dedicated to swatching them. And oh, 
I can do videos, try them all out. Honestly, I'm so impressed. I really cannot wait to get this purple one on my eyeballs as well because, I mean, look, that is just, that's another level. <laughs> Thank you so much, Face.com, for sending me all these products and Dirty Doll for sending me these lashes as well. Really, really appreciate it. Once again, I've been blown away in the testing video. I'm, honestly, I'm so shocked that there's nothing that I didn't like which is obviously really good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. I will leave the link down below to the video where I tried the eyeliner if you want to see that in action. Like I said, every single picture on my Instagram if I've got a winged eyeliner is their eyeliner because I just can do eyeliner with theirs. And the Southern Glory one kind of comes close, but it's just really messy compared to the first Stockholm one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hopefully I will see you on another upload day. Thank you once again to face.com and to Dirty Doll. I am, I am in love. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.